Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Radiant here, and today I wanted to share with you my thoughts on Magic Arena. Um, I've opened the game up here, and you can see it looks like something you would find on your Xbox or your PlayStation. It does not look anything like Magic the Gathering Online. Uh, I've been playing this for quite a while, and my overall opinion is it's pretty decent. Um, hardcore Magic players probably not too interested in this. Looking to play older formats right now, this is definitely not going to cut it. Um, there's no older formats. You can play like standard. You can play uh, like kind of like a, I guess what would be similar to a league on Magic the Gathering Online. But you can't play Popper, you can't play Commander, you can't play Modern, um, can't play Brawl, at least right now you can't. Um, so those are some of the big things, is that pretty much all you can do is kind of play, it feels very like kitchen table, like if you're going to sit down with some people, you guys got some packs, got some cards, you're just going to put something together and play. That's what this game feels like. Now... They do have a currency here of gold, which you can use to buy stuff, so you can, we have no packs, but if you go to the store, you can say, I want to buy packs, and you can come in here and buy for a thousand gold, you can buy some packs. Now, you can also purchase, with real money, you can purchase gems or crystals. With this, you can obviously see, you can get some more packs, um, but the price of these things, let's go back to the store here. So, it's about $100 for $20,000, $20 for $3,400. And if we go back in here and look at what we can get for $20, bucks, we can get 15 packs for $20. Bucks. And then you still have $400 left over, which you can't buy anything for $400, so you'll want to put something else in and try to get the other three packs, you know, so they get you there kind of like hot dog buns and hot dogs. But anyway, you do get gold. You can play this game for free. You don't have to pay any money to play, um, which I do like that about it. I would never put money into this game because I don't think the game is good enough for me to put my money into it because it doesn't have all the formats that I want. I can't trade the cards. Um, you can go in here, look at your collection. So they give you basically a set of cards to start off with. You can't make anything great with these cards, but they will give you wild cards. Now, these wild cards are something that you can get when you're opening up packs. You can get them when you buy, make a transaction with crystals or gems. You get a couple wild cards. You can basically go in here and you click the button that lets you see all the cards available. And I can click on this and say, do I want to turn this into an, an owned card using a wild card? So you can use your wild cards to make a card that you don't have. Um, but this is basically how the collection layout is. You can go through, I can say, hey, I want to look at red cards or I want to look at green cards. So the collection, it's it's pretty pretty standard. It's kind of like Magic Duels or if anybody played that, but it's definitely not as in depth. I can't. You can search up here just like you could in MTGO, but it gets a little clunky though when you're starting to build a deck. Say I want to build the deck, I go in here. You can have this layout where you put the cards on the bottom, and it will do like so. Say I want two of these. It'll just it won't show you that you have to, it'll just say two right here in this little box. That's okay, I guess. Um, I tend to like to look at my deck this way, but then when I build it, I look at it this way so that I can see more of the cards available that I want to choose. And here you can just drag it over. If you want to look at the sideboard, I can drag it into my sideboard. Say I want to charge over here. That's cool. Um, a cool aspect I like about the deck building is you can put this up here and put a picture here. And so when you're done, your deck will have a picture on it um, of what whatever you would like, whether it goes with the deck or not. Um, that's kind of cool because in Magic the Gathering Online, MTGO, you just get the deck box options. You don't get a little customization feature that lets you change what you want on the box. 
So I think that's one thing I do like about this. The customization of these little boxes is kind of cool. Um, but I have some decks. They, they give you some decks to start off with. I deleted all those because I thought they were bad. <laughs> and I made my own decks. And I made some stuff that was fun, like this Maldrotha deck. Uh, just try to get out Maldrotha and see what I can do. Doesn't haven't done much, but uh, hey, it's for free. You can go on here, see what you can do with different things, try different things out. Now down here are some decks that I have imported. So what you can do now is you can go online. I guess if you are a what do they call those people that go online and get decks? Um, geez, it's not coming to me, but a net decker. If you're a net decker and you want to get your net deck on here so you can lose a couple games and then go find a new deck, um, you can go on there and import a deck list. So I imported this. If I click it open and want to build it, it'll show me all the cards that were in that deck list. Or say you found somebody online or on YouTube that has a deck tech or a deck list that you want to run and you want to try it out you can download it and then you can try out that deck for yourself and it'll show you here with the red numbers those are the ones that you're missing and then you can go to those I think you can go to those so I think here it's showing me at the top of these cards these little notches show what you own and what you don't own so I'm guessing the yellow ones are the ones that I'm missing um, here again I only have one I'm missing three so you can go and make the cards if you want to make them or sub them out say I don't want this one I could take it out and put something else in so that's kind of a cool feature you can just import your list that you want to build so enough with the decks there. So another feature that this has, which I really like, is the little quests or things that tasks, things you can do each day. So I can win 10 games a week, or you can win up to 15 games a week. And so that each five games that you win will give you one pack. And I'm guessing it'll be a pack of the current set or whatever's current on Magic Arena. So that's pretty cool because it gives you something to play for. It gives you a little reward when you win and you don't have to pay any money or do anything. You just pick a deck, you try to win, and once you win, you get some more cards to improve your decks. Um, I kind of like that aspect. Uh, that's a part of Magic that I do like is like getting, getting a deck together and then kind of getting new stuff to add to that deck and make that deck better or add to your collection. And just getting a reward in general is really nice. You have your win of the day. So every day you get a win bonus. And I, I believe there's a certain amount of win bonuses. And when you hit all the win bonuses, you have to wait till the next day. It might be like 5 or 10. I can't tell because I got them all. Um, and then you usually have three here. So it'll be like three other little quests. So you could cast 20 white or black spells. Or it'll be like play 20 lands. And that will give you gold. So each day you can get some gold. You get your gold together. And then once you get a thousand gold. You can go buy a pack. Or you can go play the quick constructed. So if you want to play quick constructed. You can come in here. And you can pay 500 gold. And if your deck is good enough. You can play through your seven matches. And the more matches you win. The more gold and rewards that you get. So. I've looked through this thing on the Quick Constructed here, which is like a, I guess, an MTGO league. And if you get to the end, you get 1,000 gold, so you double your gold, and you get three cards. Three cards isn't that great. 1,000 gold, so you get a pack. A pack maybe has like six cards in it or something. It's not 15 cards or 14 cards, whatever's in a normal pack. So we could probably get, you know, 10 cards. The three cards that they give you, from what I've seen, haven't been anything any that are good. So I don't know if they're random or, or what the deal is. It says cards will at least two rares and one, un one uncommon. Okay. Maybe, okay. 
if you get up to five wins, you only get one rare and two uncommons. If you get okay, if you only win three wins, it's it's uh three uncommons. Okay, I've never gotten the four wins, <laughs> but I've also never bought any gems or crystals to update my decks. So I've just played with everything that I've gotten for free or unlocked in the game. So I guess if you get up here, you might get some cool cards. You never get a mythic. And if you only get two wins or three wins, it's pretty crappy still. Because you only get 400 gold, so you lose you lose 100 gold and you get you get a few cards. You get like half a pack. But it's not even a p half a pack because you're not even getting a rare uh, or a mythic or a chance at a wild card. So I don't think I will ever play this right now unless they change this because I don't I mean unless you just want to test your deck out I don't think it's worth it to get this if you're playing for free to do this maybe if you get seven wins in a row or six wins in a row yeah that's not too bad you get 300 extra gold you get a two rares that's not too bad uncommons you can get enough wild cards for uncommons I don't think you need to really play this to get uncommons but if you're trying to up your collection, I think just playing the regular matches, when you hit play here, you go to rank constructed, you select your deck, and you play. If you win, you usually get the 100 gold for your daily bonus, and you get a chance towards that. And I think you save your gold up and you just buy the packs, because the packs, I feel like, have more value than winning the constructed. Now you can play two constructeds for the price of one pack which maybe that would be better if we play two of these but again you have to get up into the better area you at least have to get five wins maybe four wins you could probably get four wins that's four say four and oh I mean you know, if you lose three times you're kicked out so you you play until you lose three times so you could you could, you could go four oh and then if you lose one, that's fine. And then if you lose two and you finally get the five, that's fine. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. You get six cards. You get two rares. You never get a chance at a mythic or a wild card. I just think the mythics and the wild cards, I mean, you can get a crappy mythic. So I, w I guess I wouldn't even say that. But not getting a chance at a wild card, to me, makes this not worth it because when you get a wild card you can make any card in the game that you want and that I think has more value than taking a chance at trying to win in the quick constructed um, the other thing is that when you're opening your packs that you get for free and when you buy I guess when you buy packs you fill up this little chest up here in the corner now this thing is saying your this is your vault so this is how you kind of increase your collection without doing too much I guess you could say in other games what you do is you can dust cards or ch exchange cards in for other cards that you that you want when you have a bunch of cards that you don't want here th what the game does is it has a collection and basically as you receive or get cards in the game you build up the collection and once you get up to four cards no deck needs over four cards unless it's like rats or something but I, they don't have that in here I don't believe yet maybe they have that one rat in here they do but I guess you could have unlimited amount of those of the rats but anyway most of the cards once you get four if you get a fifth one it then goes into the chest here and so as you fill up the chest once you get a hundred percent you get to get the contents which would be one mythic rare wild card two rare wild cards and three uncommon wild cards so we get one mythic of any type that we want two rares and three uncommons I, I, I'm not sure if this thing gets harder if it gets harder to fill up the chest as you go along like say you need more items in there to get a hundred percent like we can't really see we can't click on this thing I think eventually it'll say claim under here I've done it one time and I think I got the stuff I, I'm not really sure what happened because it it happened real fast and I wasn't sure what I was doing but um, 
if this gets harder, this will be, this will not be, not be good. I think it should stay the same amount to fill it up. What I, I'm not even sure how much gets filled up for a card. It might be like eight percent. I've never really looked, but if you have the, all the cards, your next pack should should go into this and fill it up a pretty good amount I would think if you get six cards I, w I would think it would be at least like 50% maybe I I'm not even sure because I, I was just at about 63% and I got one card that did that I did not have that I had four of and it, it went up to 74% so uh, yeah I'm not sure I'm not sure if that thing gets harder to fill up or not, but you do get rare wild cards and mythic rare wild cards from here. So that's really cool. I mean, it's it's something. Hey, it's something if you want to play this game for free. So overall, I think the game is great to play for free. To pay money to play this game, I think I would put my money somewhere else. Maybe in real magic or in like paper magic or into... MTGO. I mean, I still really like MTGO. Now, I really do like the way the actual arena is. I'll do another video, I guess, on what I think about the actual combat system, or not combat system, but the the entire the I guess where you play the cards at. You know, I don't know the arena. I'm not sure what they even call that, the battleground. But in the game, when we're actually playing the game, I'll do a review on that and see what the deal is. But I still really like Magic the Gathering Online. I mean, even with its problems, it just delivers the best feel for playing Magic. Um, I do love this, the smoothness of this game when you're playing the game. Um, I like the way I look at my cards. I can see everything clear. Sometimes on Magic the Gathering Online, I feel like I can't see the cards or I can't see certain things going on in the battlefield. This definitely has a smooth feel to the game where Magic the Gathering Online feels a little clunky. So I do like that. But I just can't play all the formats. I can't have access to all the cards. That's the thing I do not like about this game. But overall, I think it's a fun thing to do for free, especially if you like Magic. If you're new to Magic, it's definitely a great learning tool. It's definitely a great way to get into the game, um, start playing the game, but you just can't get that deck right away unless you spend probably a bunch of money. Um, to get the deck that you want to play. I think if you want to just get a deck, say I want to play, you know, the best thing in standard or I want to play a top 8 standard list deck, you go to, to Magic the Gathering online, you buy the deck, you play, you just play that deck all the time and that's it. You can pay to join leagues and win points and stuff to do other things, win other cards in Magic the Gathering online, but you can't do that here. Here you can come on, get the cards that you get, win c more cards, build decks, play for gold, play to win more things, win more cards, and you can do it that way. I think I think I will play this game out and uh, play it a little bit and see where things go with the game. I like I like everything about it so far. It's just not. It's not Magic the Gathering Online. If they could put Magic the Gathering Online into this software program or into this platform here, I think it would be perfect. Uh, but because I don't have my collection, I would say I have to just play for free. <laughs> but that's that's fine. That's fine. It, it is really fun. It's not fun to lose because you don't have the right cards. But it is fun in general, so I would just say that it's it's worth a sh it's worth a try. I would say try it out. You never know where it might go, and uh, as things get released, um, you might want to come back and and play it more. The one thing I would say, I hope they add is there's no options for foiled cards, or at least I haven't come across a foiled card in the platform yet in Magic Arena, so. That's something I hope to see in the future because I really enjoyed that in Magic Duels. Um, getting you could, I think in Magic Duels you could go and say like, "Hey, I want this entire deck foiled," and it would give you like a gold price, and you can pay gold or something like that. 
would be nice to be added into the game because you know it just adds a little something to the deck it makes it a little more custom i guess for like hey this is my favorite deck that's the one i i clicked the foil on or or whatever but but yeah so check it out and um maybe i'll have some more magic arena videos coming at some point all right have a good one peace